Hi, this is Tom Reardon, math teacher from Ohio. I want to show you how to use activities for the TI Inspire CX handheld for your mathematics classroom. Today we're going to look at the sum of an infinite geometric series. Uh, this is a free activity at, that you can get at the Math Inspired uh, website and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So we want to know what is the sum of this series, a half plus a fourth plus an eighth. And the thing that does make it geometric is the fact that each term is one half the preceding term. At first, you might think this is pretty much a pre-calculus or an Algebra 2 uh, activity, but I've done this with middle school students with great success. And normally, what students would want to do is come up with some kind of a formula to be able to find the sum of this, but with TI Inspire, we want to appeal more to the student's conceptual understanding to the student's intuition. See what you think. So this is what the uh, activity will look like on the screen. Let's go ahead and bring it up. And I'm going to be emulating this here, okay, but the, each student would have his or her own handheld. We're working at his or her own pace. So to go on to the next page, control right arrow goes to the next page, and we want to find the sum of this infinite geometric series. I've heard many different answers. Students have told me the answer is infinity. They've told me the answer is even down to zero, which of course doesn't make much sense. But what we want to do is look at this not from a formula standpoint, get a conceptual understanding. So here up here in the upper left hand corner is a slider, okay, and what we're going to do is click on the slider and while well, you just kind of watch, see what you think your students would be thinking and, and what they, uh, how this would affect their conceptual understanding. So I'll click on the first one, it shows a half plus a fourth plus an eighth and so on. And it's at this point the students have a pretty good idea if they did this forever what this would add up to, and the answer turns out to be very close to one. And that's exactly what, what they what want them to see. And I have to admit to you, I've, I've taught for 35 years, I have a master's degree in mathematics, and this accomplished more in 10 seconds to me than anything else I could have done. Now, also, this brings up some very good discussion questions in the classroom. For example, one of the questions I would ask my students is, does this ever get to one? And most students will tell me, no, this will not get to one, and I'll ask them why. And they'll say, there's always that little part left that's not included yet, it's not colored in. Always half of what was before. And so I say, okay, but now I can bring in that, that difficult concept of limit and say, as the number of terms increases without bound or goes to infinity, this sum gets so close to one, we say, we give up. It's so close to one, we're calling it one. And so we say the limit as the number of terms goes to infinity increases without bound of this geometric series is one. And this is an extremely, extremely powerful concept. Where can you get these free activities? This is one of a thousand at the timathinspire.com website. Not only does it have the T-Inspire files, which are abbreviated TNS, but also the student worksheets and the teacher notes and solutions to help you teach that lesson. This is what the Math Inspired website looks like, and so let's go to that right now. Here I've already gone to the pre-calculus one, but I do want to point out that we have both have a middle grades math, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, Pre-calculus, Calculus, Statistics, and each one is subdivided into 7 to 10 different units or chapters, if you will, and each of those chapters has several TNS documents and activities ready for you to use. The one I want to look at is uh, sequences and series, so I'll click on that one, and these are my options, and you can see that the sum of infinite geometric series is the third one here, so I'll click on that, and up pops a silent video that takes you through each slide, and you can decide, is this one I, I, I want to consider or not? Uh, it also has the objectives clearly listed, the vocabulary explains about the lesson, it brings in the tie-ins to the Common Core State Standards, textbook alignment, it's all there. And over here on the right side is where you download either the activity, the student activity, the teacher notes, or what I like to do is download all of them as one zip file. Much easier, much quicker, and they're there almost instantly. So to summarize, this activity accomplishes more good instruction in so much, more, so much less time than I've ever used. And students are grasping the math conceptually, not just memorizing formulas or memorizing procedures. They're really getting it.